But, Bob Bianchi, if you're the defense, now you have something to work with in this investigation, uh, some would say was sloppy. Where do you, how do you argue this before a jury? I I, I just, uh, as a former homicide prosecutor, this is testimony I do not want to come out. You have to remember, Mike, that this car is a crime scene. That's why it's been shipped off, it's been secured, it's been locked down. And you're right to the point. That's the argument you make as a defense attorney. They didn't look because they wanted to come to a conclusion. And the use of that force expert gets up and says it was an unreasonable use of force, but then gave a number of different scenarios, one of which was the same scenario with Mr. Floyd, and indicated that there could be a potential problem where you have to worry about the crowd coming after you and you have to have all this situational awareness. So the bottom line with regard to the car is sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. And if I'm sitting there as the prosecutor, I'm taking a dagger to the heart because the defense attorney is going to say if it was sloppy there, that was because they wanted to put a square peg in a round hole and they didn't care. They seized it, but they didn't properly evaluate it. It took the defense to do that. This is just not the way to go forward with the prosecution. It hurts them substantively throughout the whole case because it is sloppy. Got it. All right. So